You know, my friends, I just watched the video uh, with Travis Stevens talking about mental toughness. Travis is a judo Olympian, uh, America's best. He's a Henzo Gracie, uh, John Denner, black belt. He's the man, you know, I, I respect Travis a great deal. Uh, I love this video. I, I truly loved it. And the thing is, guys, uh, he, he made a point to talk about rather than just going through the motions and training to actually think about what you're doing. You know, to coast through training and just survive is easy, but to actually think about what you're doing step by step is truly mental toughness. And uh, I actually believe exactly what he's saying and, and, and I recommend that approach. Uh, how do you do that? Well, my friends, you have to understand, first of all, stop looking at training as a, a way to beat your opponent. Start looking at training as a game. It's simply a game. You have to strategically place your technique against your opponents, against your partners. That's exactly how I look at competition as well. Strategically placing my technique against theirs. The more you do that, the more you're forced to think about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Um, thinking in that regard is a great, great thing. Now, if you get tapped a thousand times in training, to go home and think that you suck is not a good thing to do, but to go home and think about how you got tapped what did you do wrong in order to get tapped? And what could you do differently to prevent that from happening the next day? That's a beautiful thing, and that's something you should look to do. Uh, the great thing about jiu-jitsu, it doesn't end once we get off the mats. We take it home with us. We think about it. We could, we, could, we could break down what happened during our matches. We could take notes. We could write about it. There's so many different aspects of jiu-jitsu that, that we could do to actually help benefit our game. Uh, so how do you build that mental toughness? Again, the irony is, to build mental toughness, in my opinion, you have to look at it more as a game. More as a game, right? Rather than life or death, look at it more as a game. Place your techniques against your partners. See what works, see what doesn't. If you happen to get caught, figure out what you got caught with. Even ask your partner, hey, hey man, what did you catch me with? What did you submit me with? How did you do that? Learn as much as you could. Don't slap the mats and run off the mats pissed off because your ego. Take that as a time to learn and take that as a time to improve. Take it from me, guys. Uh, I'm an OG. I've been I've been through it all. I've seen it all. You know, I've seen people come and I've seen people go. And the ones who stick out training the longest and the ones who keep training through the tough times are the ones that that could enjoy training. And they're the ones that could yeah, that could truly, you know, take something from each training session, whether whether they're the hammer or whether they're the nail. All right guys, I hope this helps. Have a great night.